welcome to Springboard Media's After Tips. I'm Amanda Urbancic. Today we're going to take a look at how you can use containers. So here I have two shapes, one for acids and one for bases. And if I take my shape that belongs to the base category and put it in, I can hear a reward sound. I got it right. So how did I set this up? Well, first I created a shape. Let's select that shape and go over to our browsers. So in our browsers, if I go down quite a ways, I see container. And there's a couple different options. Today we're going to look at specific object. So when I have a specific object selected here, underneath I can see it says contain object. And these three dots allow me to look through the page to decide what I'd like to contain. So I chose it to contain this box right here. Now where it says reward sound, true means yes there's a reward sound, false means no. Here you can go through the sounds and find a sound that you like. Alright, so let's try it. Alright, so that works. Now I might want this to also bounce back if it's not contained. So how do I set that up? I'm going to select the shape or the text. I'm going to go to the container and I'm going to choose where it says return if not contained. I want to make that say true. I'm doing this on the answer. So now when I move this over here and it's not contained, it pops right back. What can be tricky is now if I actually want to move this somewhere, I need to change into design mode. And to do that, I can click on the blue snowflake and make it a red snowflake. Now when I move this, it won't keep snapping back. You can also create containers that use keywords. So here you can see I have two different boxes, one for winter months and one for summer months. And then I have a bunch of Spanish words for months over here on the right. So which words fit where? Febrero is a winter word. Julio, Enero, is a winter word. Let's take a look at how I set this up. So first we're going to select the container, and we're going to go over to our browsers and take a look at the properties. So it says, can contain keywords. And under here I have the keywords would be winter. So that's the keywords that it can contain. I have my reward sound. Let's take a look at the words inside here. Where can I find their keywords? That's also in the Properties Browser under underneath Identification. And here it says Keywords, and I'm going to click on the dots, and I can see I added winter in here. To get my words to return if not contained, I want to make sure it says return if not contained and toggle that to true. Let's check on Julio here. Let's set this up to return if not contained. And let's check out its keywords. It has summer as one of its keywords. It doesn't have winter as one of its keywords. So now if I bring this over and I put it into the winter months box, it'll pop right back. It doesn't belong in winter months. Let's over and put it into summer months, and I hear the applause. Dr. Marzano studied the best ways that people can use interactive whiteboards. And one of the things he suggested was this idea of a reinforcer property. The idea that the student finds out right away if their answer is right or not. And then suggests that the teacher spends time describing why or why not the answer was correct. Not just relying on the artificial applause that shows the student why it's correct. Here's another example of containers. This one shows you a comparison chart between amphibians and reptiles. And I have a bunch of pictures and text. You can make the container contain pictures or text. You just need to make sure that the container shape is bigger than the thing that's going to be contained by it. Wondering about some more ways to incorporate containers and Marzano's reinforcer properties into your classroom? We have a wide range of professional development courses and workshops. Check us out at springmoremedia.com slash Prometheans. 